I believe one of the most common questions that I receive in the emails that I get is how do I make a DVD? I just want to make a DVD from my timeline. And uh, so I thought uh, we'd take another look at that. I believe we've done a, a tutorial on this before, but things have changed a little bit here in 6.5. And uh, so um, I thought it'd be good to, to do that again and show you the the most recent recommended way to make a DVD from uh, a typical timeline in EDIUS. And I say typical, most timelines uh, these days are HD and uh, people need to remember that when you move from uh, a high definition project, an HD project, to make a DVD that you are moving from high definition to standard definition. DVDs are still standard definition. Nothing has changed. And uh, so uh, you need to remember that you need to make some move, some way to move your HD timeline to an SD environment before you make your DVD. Now, the way that I normally handle a task like this is to, first of all, export my timeline to a high quality HD uh, video file, something using something like Grass Valley HQ or Grass Valley Lossless. And uh, then once I have exported that file, I will bring that file into a third party program, do the resizing and the creation of my MPEG files using a program that is uh, has been created uh, to specifically handle a task like that. And then bring that file, those MPEG files, into a authoring program like Encore. However, for those people that want to just make a quick DVD right from the timeline of uh, EDIUS, uh, there are ways that you can do that. First of all, what we might want to do in a situation like this where we have basically three short videos is uh, to first of all place some sequence markers in between the uh, pieces so that uh, EDIUS can then use these sequence markers to create chapters so that people could move forward with their remote control to uh, choose, a, select another song. So, uh, where is our sequence markers? Looks like uh, it's not showing up in the tabs here. I must have tucked it away to bed here. Let's do the drop down marker. Yes, here, marker. Let's check that. Uh, let's maybe just bring this down to fit inside of our... When you're working on a, on a laptop, it's you've got limited real estate, and so you need to Okay, and now now that we have that open, let's just uh, click on the little set marker. Whoops, that's not where we want it. Let's slide that over to be in between there. And let's move our timeline cursor to where we want it. Open up our, yeah, that's about right. And hit our set marker again. And let's check our times. And that looks about right. All right, with our sequence markers in place, the next thing that we could do is export this timeline, our in and outs. Let's maybe make our in and outs to uh, a high quality video format again. The um, Grass Valley HQ would probably be the best. I like to have it set to the online fine, give it a name. And once this file is saved, the idea would be that you would take that saved file and bring it into a SD project and then burn your DVD from within the SD project. However, with uh, version 6.5, there is uh, maybe a shortcut that you can take, and that is to simply uh, change your project settings. Um, let's go up to Settings, Project Settings, and Change Current Setting. And we'll change this from an HD project now down to a SD project. And uh, because this is an NTSC project, I'm going to go down and select a NTSC setting here. So you'll see one here that says SD, that's for standard definition, NTSC DV 720 by 480 at 59.94i for interlace. You want the interlaced for DVDs. All DVDs need to be interlaced. And because our video is in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, this is the one that we will work with rather than the 4 by 3. So select that. Now the one other setting that you want to change is over here under the resampling method. Version 6.5 uh, gives us some new options here. 
And uh, the one that you want to choose, the most optimal one when you're moving from an HD environment to a, a standard definition for burning a DVD is this Langsauce 3 high quality. And this will give you the best uh, looking move from HD down to standard definition. There's not only resizing, but the aspect ratio is just a little bit different. And so when you're moving from HD to SD for making a DVD, you could, uh, using any one of these other methods, could introduce some unwanted uh, resizing artifacts. But uh, this Langsauce 3 does the best job of handling that little problem. And so we'll choose that method, hit OK. And now uh, we are working within a standard definition project. It doesn't look like a lot has changed. Uh, if you took a close look at the video, you might notice that it's a little bit softer than uh, what you've been working with in the HD environment. But otherwise, your timeline, everything else looks the same. It's, but you are now in a standard definition environment. And if you want to check that, uh, you can check project settings and take a look over here under the description. And you see that your frame size is indeed 720 by 480. Okay, so now the thing to do is to burn the disk using the little utility that comes with EDIUS. Now, in previous versions of EDIUS, I believe that this, there used to be an, a little button here for exporting. I don't see that in version 6.5, but uh, it should be available here also under File, File Export. And yes, down here, Burn to Disk or Shift plus F11 would work. Now, uh, if you get a little dialog box like this, it's just telling you that somewhere in this whole project, you'll notice I have a lot of other things on the go in this project. I was working on a, a video from South Sudan, and some relatives asked me to, to make this little quick video for a funeral. This young man couldn't attend the funeral, but everybody was asking him to play, so they wanted me to make a DVD. So I just, I just happened to pop it into the project I was currently working on. But it looks like I have some clips offline. In fact, if we go down here, it tells you how many clips are offline currently, 608. But none of the clips that I'm going to be working with for this export are offline. So we can go ahead and hit no. OK, so your basic options uh, in the first dialog box tab is uh, to choose whether you want a DVD or a Blu-ray. Well, Blu-ray is, is uh, now grayed out since we are in a standard definition environment. The only option there is DVD. The codec uh, that we want to use for DVD is uh, MPEG-2. And uh, then you are given the option of using a menu or not. This little utility uh, provides you the opportunity of creating a menu. Well, let's maybe take a look at what the menu options are like. The next uh, tab uh, shows us uh, how, far, how much of our DVD uh, we're going to be using up uh, with the current project. It allows you to actually, it looks like, uh, add more files if you wanted to, or add another sequence, which is kind of nice. Here's where we can uh, choose some options uh, related to our menu. And, uh, you can choose other images here to work with if you like. Background images. I'm assuming that there's probably some way to import images and work with images. I don't really use this system, so I'm kind of learning as I go here. Um, but uh, looks like you should be able to change. Oh, maybe here in Edit. Let's go there. It's by default picking up the project name here. So we should be able to go in and uh, give this a new title. And also this one here. One thing I am noticing here, for some reason it's not showing uh, how to make chapter titles here. Um, the manual that I checked before I started this tutorial said that uh, if you create these uh, little sequence markers that it will create chapter chapter breaks. And that doesn't seem to be doing that. So either I did something wrong or there's a little bug in this program that's not allowing you to create these chapter points based on the sequence markers. And uh, by the time you watch this, there'll probably be a new version of 6.5 out that will have corrected that. Or somebody can email me and point out what I did wrong. But for the purposes of this tutorial, where people are asking, just how can I make a DVD? Um, I don't think it's that critical. So I think what we'll do is go back to basic and choose no menu and check everything there. 
and go to write and hit make sure you have a blank DVD in your uh, DVD burner and hit create disk and we'll put you on pause while that encodes and burns and disk is done okay and with that uh, completed let's close out of this burn to disk do you want to return to edius with save let's say yes to that and then uh, as a final step to this whole procedure if, especially if you use this shortcut method that we're displaying here is to go back to settings uh, go back to project settings change your current setting back to your HD format that you were working in and you would probably also want to do uh, go back to the resampling method and change that back to area average fast and sharp hit OK and now your project is back to a um, normal HD project we can just confirm that go to project settings and check our description here and we see that yes we are back in a 1920 by 1080 and so we're good to continue all of our other projects okay well I believe that that does it for uh, making a DVD in Edius 6.5